Sir, board sir, Varla is still Rumbo Mukin, sir. Sir, and preserve the planet we call our cause under the umbrella of our honorable governor. Without further ado, let us start garden and superannuated on 31st December 2013. He is the recipient. Sorry, both leave, sir. Standing here. Sir, please leave, sir. Sir, right, sir, sir. Ma'am, little bit front, ma'am. Please come, come, sir. Little bit front, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Sir, 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 A matter of pride for me to be at this military station, a station which is contributing so significantly to our national defense. The nation is proud of our military. In fact, it is the strength of the military that largely determines the pride of the nation. In our ancient scriptures, be it, be it Tirukaran, where great Tiruvalluvar has pray, has exemplified the virtue, the necessity of a strong military for any ruler, for any country. Even in Sanskrit literature, there is extensive description of the need for a strong military. In fact, one of the ancient Indian state craft, master, master of state craft, Sukracharya, in his Sukraniti, he said, Balino vasgaha sarve durbalasya chasatruva. Actually, it goes on to say that Vina Sanyad Vina, na Rajyam, na Dhanam, na Parakrama. Sanyad Vina, na Rajyam, na Dhanam, na Parakrama. 
Bale no vataga sarve durbalashya jasadhuva. Without a strong military, there is no, no country. There is no wealth, there is no parakram. Because if you have a strong military, you have friends around. If you are weak, you are surrounded by enemies. And so it is a matter of pride to be in this complex, complex of pride. And on an occasion like this, when we are promoting the tree plantation, we are promoting consciousness about environment, protection, and preservation. I would like to thank and congratulate Mastermind Foundation, Sri Lakshmi, Sri Dogra, the advisor, and all those who are associated with this foundation, because they are doing a great service to the nation. It's not only that they are in environment, like planting trees. The Mastermind Foundation has been doing a number of social services. They have been in the stress management. They have, especially with the armed forces, where our jawans, our officers, they work in an extremely stressful environment. What people in the West call it traumatic environment, and they have an extensive system of post-trauma management. Here, institution like Master Mind Foundation is helping these officers and jawans how to de-stress, how to manage the situation which are extraordinary. They have also contributed significantly from time to time when there has been natural disaster. I have been told they have been playing a significant role in the flood relief and various other areas whenever there has been a need for a helping hand, Mastermind Foundation has been extending that helping hand. And today, we are part of their initiative towards environment protection. They are doing so in collaboration with the military. It's a, it's a great initiative. We know that environment, how important it is. We know how the world is facing an existential crisis of unprecedented change in the climate. We all know that our planet Earth, which we call Mother Earth, is warming up, it is heating up. We know that there is the rising temperature, polar ice caps are melting, Glaciers are receding, rivers are drying up, forests are getting denuded, and we off and on, every now and then, in some part or the other of the world, witnesses the fury of elements, unprecedented change in climate behavior. We also know that there are several island nations counting days, counting years. Because if the process of heating up is not reversed, all those island nations will be wiped off the map of the earth in the next couple of decades. And even others, those who may not, or those who may not suffer the fate of getting deluged by the water, rise in ocean level, they too are not safe. 
it is seen all over the world. The places which for long has been known, for centuries have been known, to be the places which are very, very cold. In certain seasons today, now they are witnessing or experiencing heat waves. Deserts are experiencing floods. This cannot go on. We are talking about the climate, how to, how to protect the climate, how to preserve it, and how to prevent or stem the global temperature rise. But while most of the countries which are responsible for causing the climate problem, they are talking it at intellectual level, at the emotional level, they have not yet appreciated it. And that is how the concept of carbon trading, car carbon points and all those things that they say that, okay, we have, we have reached that stage of our development where we cannot reduce our energy consumption. So asking the other countries, developing countries, to, cons to consume less energy and, and in lieu of that, they promise them some carrots, carrots of some point, some wealth. That's not the way, that's not an honest way to deal with this impending crisis. But India, our country, our country is one where we do not look at this earth as a planet and we do not look at environment, be it forest, be it rivers, be it mountain. We don't look at them as mere resources. We look at them as a part of our being. This is our ancient thousands of years of Sanatan civilization, which believes in unity of creation, oneness of creation, which believes that whether it's plants, the animals, aquatic, or those on the land, or humans, we are all children of Mother Earth. And so being the children of the same mother, we are members of the family. And from this comes the notion, this, this understanding comes the belief that what we call here in, through the ancient Tamil text we call Yadu Mure Yavarum Kele Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam The world is a family. And when the world is a family, it's not just family of humans, it is a family of entire elements of creation, plants, animals included. Here, in our tradition, of late there has been, because of the Western thinking and Western influence, and because of that Western system of teaching, we are forgetting those values, but still I remember in my village, and so is the case in every village of India, when a villager goes to cut a tree, it first see, prays to the tree and seeks forgiveness. It says that, look, it is out of necessity that I have to cut you. There is a tree is an abode of divinity. We see the presence of divine in tree. And so, the cutting of tree, tree is not a, just a material resource to be exploited. It is to be used judiciously only when it is needed. And that is why, right from the beginning, till today, and I'm sure for all days to come, and all, at all the auspicious occasions, whenever we do the puja, when the, when the prayers are then, done before that, on the occasion, we pray to all the elements, with, including what is called banaspati, that is the plants. We like the harmonious existence of all these elements of creation. So this is in the DNA of our country, Bharat. This has to be 
reiterated and reinforced again and again and again. Especially the younger generation. Our younger generation, through the modern system of education, they have been deprived of these values. And you cannot have, we cannot have a society which is deprived of its values. And the values are not built over decades. Values are built over centuries and centuries. And the values that we have here to live in harmony with environment is a heritage of thousands of years of our civilization. We need to reiterate to our younger generation, we need to infuse this sense, what is our priceless heritage, to all our people, and only then, what our country is doing today is showing the way to the world. Today our country is showing the way to the world in every field, be it in economic development, be it in management of pandemic, be it in climate preservation and, and protection. And that is why when the country today is hosting the presidency of G20. We know the G20, how important this group is, how influential this group is. This group of countries, they have the potential to change the course of human destiny. And it is time for us, when India is, is hosting the presidency of it, to influence, inform and influence the G presidency leadership through our values, through our way of living with respect to environment. And when the G20 presidency, the motto we kept as Vasudhai Bakutumbakam, it is very, very apt. It is very, very apt. We treat one earth, one family, one future. We don't call it a shared future. We call it one future. Because we prosper together, and if we don't, we will perish together. At this point of time, and this year, as World Environment Day for India is all the more important. While the world celebrates Environment Day as a matter of creating consciousness among, the, among a part of the world which looks at the environment as a, as a resource, as a material resource, for us, it is an opportunity to show to the world how to live in harmonious coexistence with environment. And in this, we know that our country, be it in our village, be it in uh, corporate bodies, we all have been working, contributing our bet. And Indian military is known for it, wherever they are, they do. They are they they not only that they operate on in the in the areas which are remote, forest, jungle, or ravines, but also whenever they are at the peace stations, even there they take care of the environment. The animals, the plants, in the cantonment they are the safest. And they in organization like Mastermind Foundation, such NGOs, such civil society organizations they need to, such organizations, they need to be encouraged. Because a, a thought, an idea, to become a successful one, it has to be a mass movement. It cannot be implemented and successfully, or logically only by the government. Government alone cannot do it. Government alone has a very limited capacity. It is the strength of our 140 crore Indian that will make it happen. And to energize this body of 140 crore Indian, to be part of it in a concerted manner, in a conscious manner, civil society organizations like Mastermind Foundation are to be encouraged. And on this occasion, I congratulate all of them. I wish them all the very best.
friends, this is a happy occasion. I wish everyone, each one of you present here, and those who are connected otherwise, and those who are associated with the environment, all the very best. My warmest greetings and best wishes to all of you. Jai Hind.